At its peak in the 1950s, the Bethlehem Steel Company employed 167,000 workers. They paid them well, and they provided a pension in retirement. In 2002, after struggling with a faltering economy and a harsh recession, the company closed its doors. Although the jobs were gone, the company had promised pension benefits to approximately 95,000 former workers. These defined benefit pensions were insured by a corporation established by the federal government, the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation. Now that safety net is also strained. PBGC has estimated a more than $20 billion deficit over the long term, meaning that, in the future, this insurance program may not be able to pay all benefits currently guaranteed to retirees and their families. I'm Barbara Boberg, Managing Director of the Education, Workforce, and Income Security Team at GAO. We put the PBGC insurance programs on GAO's high risk list in 2003 because we believe these programs need urgent attention. In fact, since that time, Congress has taken action to assure that companies are fully funding their defined benefit pension plans, which would likely have taken pressure off the PBGC. But because of the recent recession, these measures have been delayed to help American companies themselves get on firmer financial footing. GAO recommends that Congress continue to oversee the PBGC's long-term fiscal health and of defined benefit plans generally, since their disappearance is part of the long-term challenge for PBGC. In addition, PBGC's governance structure is relatively weak. The PBGC board should be expanded to ensure that it is positively engaged in oversight and in setting policy at PBGC. PBGC's long-term structural challenge and the importance of its guarantees to millions of Americans suggest that increased public attention to these programs is urgently needed. Thank you.